so in this video we'll look at the number of bounded regions and unbounded regions within circles and within straight lines we'll start with uh, circles so when i have a circle i can see that there is one enclosed region which i'll call as one bounded region and there is one region which is outside the circle which i'll call as one unbound region when i have two circles i can see that there are one two three regions enclosed within the circle there are three bounded regions and one region which is outside the circle which is one unbound region now when i have three circles i can see that there are one two three four five six seven regions bounded by the circle seven bounded regions and one region which is outside the circle which is unbound region so whenever there is one circle there will be two power one total region out of which one region will be unbound region and one region will be bound region whenever there are two circles there are two power two total regions that is four total regions out of which one will be unbound region and remaining three will be bounded regions whenever there are three circles there will be two power three total regions which is given by eight total regions out of which one will be unbound region remaining seven will be bounded regions if you have to generalize whenever there are n circles in play the total number of regions can be given by 2 power n out of which one region will be unbound region and remaining 2 power n minus 1 region will be bounded regions so this is something which we can summarize for circles now let's move on to a straight line in straight line let's look at unbounded regions first when I have one line, I see that there are two unbound regions, one above the line and one below the line. When I have two lines, there are one, two, three, four unbound regions. When I have three lines, I can see that there are one, two, three, four, five, six, six unbound regions. Let's not worry about these bounded regions, which will come back to it in the next part. Similarly, when I have four lines, line 1, line 2, line 3, line 4. When I have all four lines intersecting, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. I will have 8 unbound regions. So, if I can generalize, whenever there are n lines intersecting each other, there will always be 2n unbound regions there will always be 2 in unbound regions so this is pretty straightforward to find unbound regions what about bound regions let's start with one line first and let's see how the pattern keeps coming when i have my first line how many regions do i have zero when i have second line coming into picture how many bounded regions do i have still zero now when I have my third line coming into picture, this third line intersects with the first two lines and therefore it creates a small red color region here. So my third line brings one new region into picture. What happens to my fourth line? My fourth line intersects with three previous lines, therefore two new regions fourth line intersects with three previous lines therefore two new regions how about fifth line the fifth line intersects with four previous lines and therefore three new regions the fifth line intersects with four previous lines therefore three new regions so as I can see, it keeps on proceeding in an arithmetic order, arithmetic progression. So if I have five lines in a plane, how many maximum regions can I form? Maximum bounded regions can I form? 1 plus 2 plus 3. So with five lines, the total number of bounded region is nothing but summation until 3. Similarly, the moment I have sixth line coming into play, the sixth new line will bring four more new regions because it will intersect with 
five lines because sixth line intersects with five lines it will bring in four more new regions into picture therefore if i have to look at how many regions how many boundary regions will be formed by six lines all i need to do is add 1 plus 2 plus 3 plus 4 which is given by summation of 4 so i can see a pattern here so if there are 10 lines how many boundary regions will be there summation until 8 now summation we have a formula summation from 1 to n is always given by n into n plus 1 by 2 so summation until 1 to 8 either we can manually add from 1 to 8 or we can just simply 8 into 9 by 2 which is 36 if i add from 1 to 8 i'll still get the same 36 so if i have 10 lines intersecting in a planes i will have 36 bounded regions okay so now we've seen the number of bounded regions for straight lines now let's look at a couple of examples first example is i have 17 lines in a plane how many regions can i form at the max how many regions can be formed by the 17 intersecting lines in a plane so total regions we need to find out so let's start with unbound uh, bounded regions and then move on to unbounded regions so with 17 lines when there are 17 lines there will be summation until 15 unbounded regions just now we saw in the previous section so sorry summation until 15 bounded region so which is given by 15 into 16 by 2 which is 15 into 8 which is 120 bounded regions so with 17 lines i can form 120 bounded regions how many unbound regions that is relatively easier 17 into 2 34 unbound regions so totally i can form 154 regions from these 17 lines in a plane okay now let's go on to the next problem i have 12 lines in a plane out of which 3 are parallel now how many bounded regions and unbounded regions will i have now the question here is if 3 lines are parallel how many lines will be not parallel to each other or intersecting lines not 9 but 10 non parallel lines let's look at it lines 1 lines 2 lines 3 until line 10 these 10 lines will be non parallel to each other and they will be intersecting with each other and this 11th line and 12th line will be parallel to 10th line so these three lines will be parallel lines whereas the first 10 lines if i have to look at they will be non parallel lines and the 10th line it is parallel to 11th and 12th line but it is definitely intersecting with the first nine lines okay so with first 10 intersecting lines how many bounded regions when i just look at the first 10 intersecting lines how many bounded regions can i form from 10 intersecting lines i can form summation until 8 bounded regions which is given by 8 into 9 by 2 which is 36 bounded regions or i can do the same thing manually how do i do it my first line brings zero bounded region into picture second line brings zero third line brings one more bounded region fourth line brings two more bounded region fifth line brings three more bounded region sixth line brings four more bounded region seventh line brings five more bounded region eighth line brings six more bounded region ninth line brings seven more bounded region and tenth line tenth intersecting line will bring eight more bounded regions so if i add all these things there will be 36 bounded regions by these 10 non parallel lines now when i bring that 11th line into picture this 11th line because it is parallel with the 10th line it will not intersect with the 10th line it will only intersect with the first nine lines because it intersects with only nine lines it will only create eight new regions 
and similarly 12th line also because it is parallel to 10th line and 11th line this 12th line will not intersect with the previous 11 lines it will only intersect with the first 9 lines and therefore it will only create 8 new regions so the last 2 lines would only uh, uh, bring in about 16 bounded regions so bounded regions from all these 12 lines will be 36 plus 16 which is 52 bounded regions now how about unbounded regions there are 12 lines and each line will give us two unbounded regions. so totally there are 24 unbounded regions so the total number of regions that can be formed from these 12 lines would be 52 plus 70 24 which is 76 total regions out of the 76 total regions 52 regions are bounded regions and 24 regions are unbounded regions